This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training with an advanced vector graphic tutorial. How to take this zipper graphic from our friends at GetMyGraphic.com and extend it halfway across your slide like this. And here in PowerPoint with my vector graphic, I'm going to first zoom out by clicking the minus sign in the lower right hand corner of my screen until I'm at a zoom of 50%. I'm then going to select the graphic and hit Control Shift G. And you want to continue hitting Control Shift G to ungroup your graphic until you're at the level where you can grab these threads individually. Holding shift, I'll select both of the threads, hit control D to duplicate. I'm going to move them up a little bit off of my graphic. I then want to flip them horizontally. So I'm going to, from the home tab, select the arrange tool, navigate to the rotate command and select flip horizontally. And then I'm going to hit escape and you want to place these threads here at the ends of your other threads so they extend off the screen and you want to place them until they fit perfectly together like this, with the edges of the two shapes creating a little seam down the center. With the objects placed, holding the shift key, select the original object and then the new object, and then you want to use the combine shapes tool. I have mine here on my QAT, which you can download on our website. Select combine, and the two objects become a single object here in PowerPoint. And you can also use the union command. Now notice that if I select the new object and then the original object, if I then use the combine shapes tool, you can see that I get a layering issue. So the new object inherits the layer of the first object selected. So if this happens to you, I'm just gonna use my QAT, Alt-6, you need to send it back, hit K. I'll also need to send the other object back, Alt-6, K to send it back, and I'll hit Escape. Next, we wanna select this triangle, and I'm gonna scroll over here to the right, and you wanna just pull this triangle all the way until it snaps flush with our two threads there on the right. From here, you want to right click the triangle, select edit points. I'm going to hold the tr control key and you want to just start adding a bunch of points. You can also do this by right clicking. And you just want to massage these points. You can begin to drag them up and you want to continue doing this until this background object, it's no longer a triangle, fits perfectly in between the threads like this. And here you can see all the points I've added to my background shape. Once you're done, hit escape. I'm going to scroll back over here to the left. I'm going to take my icons and just first move them up off my slide. Make sure you don't grab any of the individual pieces of the zipper graphic itself. Then select everything with the zipper graphic, the background piece and the threads, and holding shift, I'll just rotate it or move it back onto my slide to right about there and I'll hit escape. Now a cool trick to extend the zipper teeth themselves, if I hold the control key and use the spin wheel on my mouse to zoom in a little bit is to select the second to last object, Control D to duplicate it. Use your smart guides to place it perfectly over the last object in your vector graphic and then hit Control D one, two, three, four, five, six times and you can see the teeth perfectly align along my zipper thread. I'll scroll down to the bottom, do the same thing, Control D to duplicate, place the object using my smart guides perfectly, Control D one, two, three, four, five, six times. I'll then use my spin wheel to zoom back out to 50%, hit escape, and you can see my vector graphics almost ready to go. From here, I just need to rearrange my icons until I have something like this. And I've mixed my blue and red icons there on the right. Now, though this works as is, notice if I hit F5 on my keyboard for slideshow mode, you can't see any of those objects extending off my slide space, but hitting escape, if this bothers you, you can quickly remove the extra pieces by using the subtract tool. For example, if I first scroll over here to the left, I'm going to click and select these different threads that I don't want, hit delete. I'm then gonna grab a rectangle for my QAT. If I draw it so that it encompasses the objects that I want to get rid of, holding shift, select the object I wanna keep, holding shift, select the object I wanna subtract away, combine shapes tool, subtract, and you can see the thread is removed there on the left. I'll do this again. You unfortunately need to use one rectangle for each object that you wanna get rid of. Position it right about there. Holding shift, select the object you want to keep. Select the object you want to remove. Subtract. And if I continue on around my slide, I'll eventually end up with something like this. And here I've even cut off the parts of the zipper teeth that were sticking off of the slide. So that's how you can take this zipper graphic from getmygraphic.com and extend it halfway across your slide. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.